everybody, I'm Don Sexy one Ruined to Victory here, and here I am with the very, very late Slide 2019 figures. And sweet Jesus, this is way late than it should have been. Because this has been delayed for the last few weeks, because as soon as I'm about to get work on this, another company would reveal theirs, and I put other companies' figures priority of theirs, because their figures are going to be better. Unless you're Safari! <laughs> oh, I just left my own joke, which is quite that sad. Anyways, let's just begin with this, I don't want this one to be... I don't want this one to be 11 minutes like the Papal one, which just somehow garnered over 100 views, so... L l let's just begin with this one. First up we have the Slight Animadrax. Which has been sold for £6.29. And yes, the main reason I'm doing this now is because they're actually for sale on everything dinosaur right now. So... I better get this video out quick before more people buy them. <laughs> so overall, on the sculpting, I really like the texture and detail to the scales on the lumps on the backs along with the spikes. But my main problem with the figure is its face. It looks like somebody just took a dump on it. It looks like one of Theropod Riot's videos. And as for the overall- oh, voice crack. As for the overall paint, my figure looks very brown and earthy and bland, like how- but- but it's meant to make it look realistic, like how Papo does, instead of making it look like a rainbow fest, like the Dimetrodon, which we're going to talk about later. So, overall, this looks like a decent figure. It, it, it's good for the price of £6. But, if it's £6, don't expect high quality and don't expect it to be that big. Next up, we have a repaint of uh, Dimetrodon, which is going for £7. No, not £7. £8.79. Jesus Christ, I need fucking glasses. Okay, since this is a repaint, let's first go for the sculpt. I don't like the sculpt of the figure. I think the head looks far, far too big. But apart from that, that is pretty much it. I, I'm just not that keen on the sculpt. Now let's go for the paint of the figure. I think the paint is decent. I really like the blue on the sail and around the eyes. I think that makes the colours pop, and I and I really like the blue. I wish I wouldn't have figures covered in that. But most of it, but most of it is covered in this green, which I'm not that keen on. I would have preferred if I wouldn't have a figure was just that blue. Even if it was, I probably wouldn't get it because of the sculpt. Now to move on to the only figure that doesn't have its price on everything dinosaur. So here we have the Dimorphodon. Which I'm pretty sure is, which I think is Slyther's first time off done. Even though Papa already made one, which has been retired next year, and which I've ordered, because I really like that figure. But as for this figure, I don't get over hate for it. I don't think it's that half bad. I, I like the, I lo ugh, I like the patterns on it. I like the dots of black and the blue with a black ring around it. And as for the face, I like the black stripes and I like the blue on the top of the head. Yes, if you couldn't tell, blue is my favourite colour. <laughs> and I'm also not really that keen on the black stripes going down their head, but... Eh, they're not that half bad. And as with a decent sculpt, I just don't like it because it's a grounded figure, so you can't use it as if it was flying. Which is why I like the Dimorphodon by Papo. Because you can, you, you can make a figure look like it's flying, and look like that it's standing. But if this figure is just permanently stuck, just standing on the floor, so... I won't be picking this figure up anytime soon. And now we have a figure that I actually like. Which is the repaint of the Giganotosaurus. When I saw that they were making enough Giganosaurus, I was hoping it would be a brand new one, but it isn't. It's just a repaint of the OK one from 2016, and it's going for £15, which makes it the most expensive figure in this lineup. Now, since I already have the figure, I am not going to go over the sculpt. I'm just going to be going over the paint, and I really like the paint on this guy. 
I like the black on the top of his head. Uh, and going down the rest of his body. I like the purplish pink on his body. Which isn't my usual because I don't like pink. But I, I also really like the black on his feet. I'd only wish if if won't have figure was this color of black. I I'm really I'm really not that keen on the brown on the figure, but I reckon it's fine. It's a fine paint of coating for a fine figure. I'll probably end up picking up this one since I own all of the other slight gigas. And I don't want to break that trend anytime soon. So I'll most likely end up picking this guy when it's on sale. Because I am not paying £15 for this bloody thing. Now we see one of my favourite figures in general for 2019. Which is this, which is this Spinosaurus, which goes for £15. And sorry for the voice crack. Now let's go on to the proper figure, because I, really I really want to talk about this figure, because I really like this figure. Now we see the actual figure with its great sculpt and its decent paintwork. I really like how this figure isn't really a uh, quadruped or a theropod. I it, it, like how it's sort of walking on its all fours with its claws, but even though it isn't, it's more it's more of a theropod. I I know that sounds weird, but I think you get me on that one. I like the sculpt. The only thing I don't like is how it's how thick the tail is and how short it is. But apart from that. I like everything on this figure. I like how the arms are sort of short, and I like how the legs are short. And but but with the first spine was a bit bigger. But apart from that, I like the sculpting figure, especially for the head. I like the bit on, underneath its neck and the crest on its head, and how long the jaw is. And I like how it, and like and, ah, and I like how the jaw actually opens like most such figures. Now, as for the decent paintwork, I I like the black on it. I like the black. I like how the black sort of circle pattern on this on this on the spine, and I like how the black goes down the body from the head. But I don't like how it sort of cuts off at the end and then goes into these stripes. But as for paint, for liking the paintwork, my main attention goes towards the head. I like the red on it. I like the sort of greyish black. I and, and like most figures, I like the use of the sort of darkish blue on it, especially underneath the neck. And sort of look, look. This figure has a decent paint job. It has a great sculpt. I really like this figure. I will be picking it up over Safari's failed abomination. Which apparently is 20 feet. Ah, music to my ears. Anyways, this light Spinosaurus coming out for next year is a very nice figure. And I will be picking this up next year, because it's one of my favourite Spinosauruses now. So anyways, next year looks like a decent year for Slide, with only 2 out of 5 figures looking decent. And so, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and sorry for the ear rape, I couldn't resist it. And here, is Indomsexu on Roar to Victory!